Year's Eve, we'll be leaned back and watch the fireworks go off as the countdown began. He decided then and there that 2023 would be a much better year for him. He made a promise to himself that he would try to get out more and go on many more adventures to try to make the best of this year. So when the countdown was over and the new year began, Wilby was determined. You want to see a ghost? Back when I originally started drawing on pictures in my late teens, it was just to try to replicate spooky images that you saw online, such as ghosts and UFO sightings. And back then I didn't know how to add all these effects digitally, so I would end up just taking a picture of the computer screen when I was done to make everything look cohesive. So what's the point of this? Gotta work with what you got to make your art look good. As Wilby sat in his booth waiting for his name to be called, he couldn't help but think back on the previous years, and how coming here to eat is kind of a New Year's tradition. Sure, he's not doing it on New Year's Day or even the day after, but within a week of a new year, he comes here to eat. This realization brings a slight smile to Wilby's face, as he never thought he had any traditions of his own. Hey everyone, this is what I drew during the live stream last night. I just want to thank everyone who joined. I had a lot of fun. This started off as a warm-up sketch and turned out to be the entire three-hour stream. So I hope everybody who uh, didn't get to make it enjoys the drawing here of Zombie. I know right now she looks a little alive, but I forgot I was going to turn her into a zombie. And here we go. Hope to have more fun like this on the next live stream. Thank you all. One of Wilby's favorite things to do is read books. With his extraordinary eyesight, he can even read books in low light. He enjoys going to the local bookstore an hour before they close because there's normally no one else there. That way, Wilby can browse the new section as much as he wants and not feel like he's in anybody's way. Over the next several hours, Wilby will consume the book ravenously and spend the next several days contemplating its themes. Spike is one chonker of a beast. This big old boy loves to just run about and play. The only problem is, Spike doesn't really pay attention to where he's playing, and he's such a big old boy. He often leaves a lot of destruction in his path, so if you ever hear a deep echoey laughter that kind of sounds like a giant child. Run, because it could be Spike. <laughs> Happy Friday the 13th, everyone. Thank you once again to everyone who joined me on last night's stream. It was a blast. Another fun stream and another fun monster girl. This time she's an alien. Her area 51 number is LV426 and yes, that is a reference. But she also goes by Levy. The little silver things on her forehead are universal translators, allowing her to understand any language and in turn, speak any language. I really love doing these art streams and I hope to be doing a whole lot more in the future. Later, y'all.
recently I was shopping at Hot Topic and saw a shirt of a magazine cover with an anime character on it that I absolutely loved and they didn't have it in my damn size. And so I thought, huh, this is a problem. I can't find shirts I really, really like in my size. And I'm an artist and I have a nice stable of female OCs that I could easily put on a shirt. So I made a goal to design my own magazine cover t-shirt that I'll have printed up that I can wear and it will be in my size. I already have a Faye shirt and I really liked how Zombie turned out. So I put her on the first cover. I want to do a few more of these. I want to make more Monster Girl OCs as well. Wilby sits contemplating why he let his eyes be bigger than his stomach once again. His love of Mexican food always gets to him and he eats way too much. Deep down, he knows he regrets it, but at this moment, he doesn't regret it at all. He absolutely loves those tasty, tasty pork tamales. He even hopes that one day he can make a trip to Mexico just to try all the street food. For now, he'll just sit and enjoy the tasty, tasty pain he finds himself in. Wilby often has nights where he has trouble sleeping. During such nights, he likes to wander about his local area looking for stray cats that he can pet. As much as he would love to take one home, he knows deep down, he doesn't have the means to take care of one right now. For now, that leaves all the stray cats, his cats, his cats to come out and pet, and he can't sleep. I was out camping when I heard some noise near my tent. When I went out to investigate what it was, I saw someone squat it down just out of sight when I called out to see if they needed help their head started moving toward me their neck growing longer oh god I don't know what's going on I am completely aware that I forgot to upload this Saturday like I said I would so Here's the picture of Hill and I drew during last Friday's live stream. I'm so sorry that it's late, but I also am still very thankful for everyone that showed up, and I can't wait to see everyone again this Friday when I do the next drawing stream. Being able to draw and talk with you all is so much fun. Even though the chat does go by way too fast, even when there's barely anyone there, because it won't stay on the screen. But anyways, I hope you all enjoy seeing this uh, Helen image in her spicy demon milk shirt. <laughs> yes, just her spicy demon milk shirt. As Wilby looks through all the frames at the store, he desperately wishes that he had written down the sizes of the photographs that he needs to frame. He knows that some of them are smaller than others and some of them are quite big. But what size does he want a mat? Perhaps he should quit looking for today and go home and properly measure everything out. Because lately, photographs have become very important to Will Being. 